Did you know that a penny saved is two pennies earned? The reason behind this meaning relates back to our tax laws. The more we spend the more tax we pay. So spend less and you already made the first profit in the market. As Calvin Coolidge once said, there is no dignity quite so impressive and no independence quite so important as living within your means. Lady and gentlemen, try to live within our means. Especially, as an investor. From our point of view when we live beyond our means and try to invest in the market to support our lifestyle is a huge mistake. It is very hard to eliminate emotion from the market, especially if we are heavily dependent on it to maintain our high-end lifestyle. When we are emotional hijack we tend to make irrational decisions. Can you guess what is the most expensive fragrance in the world? In this book, the author mentioned the most expensive smell in the world is a brand new fragrance. And, there is merit in his words. Let us take buying a brand new car as an example. It sure smells fresh off the lot. Did you know the average depreciation for new cars is around 30 to 40 percent in its first year? Some can lose a bit less and some can lose a bit more according to the Canadian Black Book. Let us suppose your brand new car cost around 50,000 in the dealership, then expect your first year out of the dealership the car to be worth around 30,000 to 35,000. I don't know about you, but that smell is quite expensive. Remember if you do buy one please keep your window up we don't want that smell to fly out. We would also recommend you to silicone around the window too. So the second tip here is better to buy used to gain more capital to invest, instead of smelling the new fragrance of your car. We are not suggesting our viewers to buy everything used, but when buying something new is it worth it? Call me a high roller all you want but I would never buy used underwear. Before we move on to his 16 recommendations when investing in the stock market. Please if you like what you are seeing so far, may you kindly with all your strength click the likes and subscribe button below, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your kindness. Andrew Tobias's 16 recommendations for better investing. 1. Only invest in money you don't have to touch for many years. 2. Buy low and sell high. 3. Spread your investment out to accommodate the peak and the crash of the market. Dollar cost averaging your buy. For those that don't know what is cost averaging we will take a minute to explain it here. Dollar cost averaging only work if we continue to practice it with the same amount we set aside to buy a particular stock. For example, what I am doing right now is adding $400 every month to this index fund and this will average the cost of my holdings. If the stock is $5 this month and up $10 next month, cost averaging will balance the price over an extended period of time. 4. Stick with it. 5. Diversify the industry. 6. Ignore the noise. 7. Take advantage of the noise. 8. Don't buy the hype. 9. Low PE can be deceptive. 10. Don't subscribe to letters and expensive emails. Use free ones that are available. 11. Invest don't speculate. 12. Sell only when value stocks when buy and hold is no longer rational. 13. With dividend and long-term stock put it in the tax-free savings account. 14. Never buy anything from a broker that cold call you. 15. Minimize transaction cost. 16. Do your homework. The author mentioned that there are three things the market reward. A. Volume. Mr. Munger mentioned similar to this is when you find an opportunity to go hard at it. Please don't lose your shirt and your pant in the process though. And, history has shown a lot did. B. Patience. Mr. Buffett said, you can't get a baby by having nine women pregnant at the same time. Well, we wouldn't recommend anyone to get nine women pregnant. You can get in a lot of debt doing this with child support and litigation costs. So don't do it, please if you really want a baby, be patient with one mother in nine months time. Just like a good investor is patient with their holdings. C. Risk. From our perspective taking risk is not a bright idea because anyone can be risky. High risk doesn't mean a higher reward. With prudent and patience the skillful investor can ultimately achieve higher returns than the market. It happens to me and taking that risky bet was one of the stupidest ideas in my bucket list. More on it in the 7 secrets to investing like Warren Buffett. 
Taking from Mr. Munger, risk only comes to those that don't know what they are doing. Which one of these tips was useful to you and if you have any useful tips that we didn't cover in this summary may you kindly put them down below. Thank you. Thank you so much for making it this far. Please join our newsletters. We promise no spam, only to update you when new summaries are available. We swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. We 